How's it going guys? Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2004. Thank you for the comments on the previous video. I have made some changes. Number one, um, I have remapped the controller so the uh, trigger is now recognized as the thumbstick. So now I can actually use partial throttle with the trigger, which is beautiful. Um, thank you to uh, who commented that. I don't remember the name, but thank you so much. Um, also, one other thing, guys, though, I do need your guys' feedback on the on the camera placement because the where it is now does block uh, the leaderboard. Um, if it, you know, if that's a big deal to you guys, I could put it over here, but then it would look kind of different. Or I can, I don't know, put it over like up here. But just let me know where you. I, I mean, I always put it over here for the majority of the videos because like every time I look to my second monitor, it looks like I'm looking at the video, which is kind of cool. Um, but just let me know what you what you think about that. Um, and then also for team management. You guys did give the feedback of what we're going to do in terms of like how we're working with the bank. So essentially what we're doing is that we're not repairing or um, overhauling anything. I did it already because I didn't know what I was doing. But from now on, we won't be repairing or overhauling anything. We're just going to continue to use the 50-50 you know, car um, and, and just try to build up the money in order to add shop additions. So we currently have $541,000 in the bank. Um, the first shop edition I do want to add, because uh, based off the first few races, I can kind of feel what I probably need, is engine power. Uh, this would give plus 10 in the engine power, increase storage space by 2, and to do that, we would need $750,000 for it to be available in 3 races time, or we could do $500,000 for it to be available in 6 races time. Um, I feel like if we could just maybe get a little bit more money, then maybe we can be able to, um, so it's projected total 587000 and then it might go actually no it probably won't go up enough so uh i'm gonna make an executive order decision and we're actually gonna do that right now so i'm really going to be pushing um the money which which means we can't dnf the cars that's that's the number one thing right now i cannot dnf the cars just gotta do the best we can and just relax so it's gonna be five hundred thousand dollars we're gonna purchase that it will be available in six races time um and you can only do one shop edition at a time so uh, that's a major one we only have forty one thousand dollars in the bank now and uh we will just continue on so we just need to get the sponsorship to to go well we have to do an average finish of 40th place for the Nikon car um, and then average start in 40th place which actually might be a little bit harder than I thought. I want to give a shout out to all the Patreon members. I forgot to actually showcase you guys yesterday so I apologize but um, here are your names. Thank you guys so much for joining the Patreon and we do have one new one Brad Harsher. Well, hopefully I pronounced your last name right. Uh, thank you for joining the Patreon. And guys if I might be uh, if you notice I might be like a little bit down or just like lethargic it is because as you can see right here I got the uh, booster shot yesterday and I just I was you know overnight I had chills and I've been just aching so I'm just slowly getting over that um, I should be pretty much back to normal by later tonight but for now I'm still just aching a little bit so I'm gonna try to do my best and we're also going to switch the paint scheme up for Atlanta where essentially I keep the same paint scheme but I just changed the primary color over and over again so for Atlanta we're gonna go with a blue car okay it's gonna be blue blue and black I'm glad that I can genuinely change it over and over as many times as I want so if you don't like blue then you know what we'll go to red for Arsenal or we'll go to you know uh, white for Tottenham which is never going to happen because Tottenham suck but uh, that that you know that's irrelevant at this moment standings let's take a look at that Jeff Gordon is 24 points ahead of Ricky Rudd, Tony Stewart, Kevin Harvick, 34 points behind, Dale Jarrett, 62 behind, and then in the driver respect range, this is going to be very important to keep an eye out for the majority of the season, we have one rival, which is Kevin LePage, who cares about him, then Ashton Lewis, Dale Jarrett, Kyle Petty, Casey Mears, all neutral, but leaning on the negative side, if you don't make contact with them, they actually just, you know, it just goes back to neutral, just like how Matt Kenseth, he was an ally, but now he's back to neutral, because we didn't share drafts with them before so um it's just it'll go back and forth uh let's go to atlanta it's going to be most likely a 32 lap race but we're gonna have a crap car it's going to be a 50 50 tire grip tire wear and then a 50 50 power and efficiency with a 50 50 downforce and drafting it's literally the worst car you can get but for some reason it still says the car rating is out of 51 which i can't really explain or understand why because we absolutely suck so with us absolutely sucking can I at least qualify in 40th? And can we at least finish in 40th? That's the only thing that matters. All right, lads, here we go. This is going to be a very important qualifying lap. I've made a few adjustments to the car. I've lowered the front springs, lowered the wedge, 
We will see if it's enough. I think I gained about half a second in practice by making those adjustments. I'm really pushing it. I know we're going only 167 in the corner, but that really is the fastest I can go. And the uh, the change in the analog stick uh, back to the trigger and being able to use partial throttle on the trigger is really helping, too. I'm actually able to get more out of the car now. That's honestly the best I can do. I mean, maybe we're a little bit high in 3 and 4, but I was carrying as much speed as I could. And hopefully that's 40th. That's the only thing we're going for. 31, 3, 3, 4. 29th. Okay, that's a lot better than I expected. It's the changes. The changes is what made that possible. So I'll actually show you guys what I did. Um, and I don't want like any like advice or cheats or anything because I really want this to be dictated via what we can do in terms of the R&D instead of like, you know, m manipulating the setup. So I just lowered the tire pressure to 23, which is why I usually always did in NASCAR Thunder 2003. But uh, in this game so far, tire wear has not been that big of an issue, so I lowered it down a little bit. Downforce, I kept the same. Um, suspension, we went down 5% in the front springs and went down a full round on the wedge. And those two changes right there is what allowed me to essentially run 5 miles per hour faster in the corner. I went from 161 to 166 in the middle of the corner. So uh, that's good. Car feels good. 29th position. Let's go to... MRN or PRN? I don't even know which one's calling the races anymore, damn. EA Sports welcomes you to Hampton, Georgia. Site of today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Bass Pro Shops. This guy straight up sounds like he's high. I mean, I think we're in for some incredible he, <laughs> This man sounds terrible. By this track's history. There sure have been some incredible finishes here at Atlanta. In the March race of 2001, Kevin Harvick beat Jeff Gordon to the checkered by mere inches to win his first NASCAR Winston Cup race. Given the circumstances and the emotion of that victory, that is one that people will talk about for decades to come. Bill Elliott owned and drove for his own race team for six years before joining Ray Evernham in 2001. You know, driving for your own race team is a tough deal. I think Bill was happy to get back to worrying about one thing, being fast out there on the racetrack. The Nikon car hasn't made much of a move in the point so far. And how frustrating must that be? You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days and gain the valuable points you need. Those guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. Oh, our confidence is high. Do not Kyle worry Petty about that, okay? But I like the way he said the Nikon car. He went, the Nikon car. He was very enthusiastic, even though he sounds like he's the deepest voice in the history of mankind. But uh, no one cares about Kyle Petty. We got confidence here in the Nikon car. We, all right, well, we're fine. We are fine. National Anthem, here we go. Right, shut up. Stop talking. No one cares. Jeff Gordon ever just like not want to qualify on pole? That'd be that'd be fantastic if he ever wants to just stop, you know, and do something else for once. Um, we are in 30th, guys. Top 40 is what we're going after, and that's why I invested in engine power because, as you can see, off we go to the back. <laughs> wow, all back to 32nd. Okay, at thir 33rd. H how much farther back? 34th. We're gonna go back to 34th because I haven't even really got going yet. All right, get back back to 34th. Okay, can, can I clear? There we go. All right, I'm getting the hood view because this is the favorite view that I like to use at these tracks. I'm pretty sure I have someone down low because my spotter said so. And we are clear. Okay. Yep, yep, we're clear. Yep, thank you very much. All right, let's see what we can do. 32 left. I mean, the car is stable. I mean, this is a very well-handling car uh, at the moment. I'm, I'm liking what I am feeling at this very moment. Robbie Gordon, hello. Kyle Petty, hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus Christ, reaction time. I would give myself a B minus. I mean, I, I could have reacted a little bit quicker, but uh, that was close. I don't know what happened. On the brakes, we're fine. We're all good. I'm gonna go back into my little hood view here because, again, on this game, hood view is usually the best for me. I'm sliding up the track. Ooh, 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 don't slide up too much. All right, we're all good. We're all good. Robbie Gordon's to our outside. We should be able to clear. Sterling Marlin's trying to get through. We are not clear. He is still there. Okay. And we are clear. Okay, 32nd place. I just need to build a little bit of a gap for the pit stops. It's really all I got to do. Um, since we're going to try to finish in 40th, uh, it's it's not like we got to run long even. I, I'm, not, I'm probably not even going to try to run long. I'm just going to probably pit on like lap 15 or 16. 
and go in normally just so I can maintain as much track position as I can. I'm pretty sure we're clear all around, are we? Yes, we are. Car still handles all right. As I say that, we slide up the track in one and two, but it's still fairly decent. Uh, ooh, look at that run coming out of turn two. It's, it's decent. Okay, we're going to get past here because I'm not going to be able to get down. All right, we're going to back off. There we go. Wait, come on. Get back down. All right, there we go. Get around Greg Biffle. Follow Sterling Marlin and Terry Labonte still in 31st. I mean, I would say my maturity levels have gotten higher recently because I'm not making stupid, idiotic moves. Oh, well, I did not know that. Oh, God. I did not know the one car was to my outside. I, th I thought I was racing Kyle Petty only. And uh, my bad. <laughs> Jeff Green was right there. Okay, so Ricky Craven gets around us. I'm going to try and get that spot back, but at the moment, like I've been saying, everything is very smooth. The car handles fine. It's a little, it's just slow, but I mean, it handles fine. And we are on our way. Let's see if Share Draft does anything with Kyle Petty. He's not even gonna be able to, yeah, he's not gonna stay in front. I'll we'll try to get in front of Robbie Gordon. A little bit of a reverse side draft didn't really work. I haven't, I'm not gonna try it to see if it does work on this game, because you, the way the car handles, you really can't make that much contact on this game or else you're gonna wreck yourself. Uh, Robbie Gordon's peeking down low, but he's not able to clear. Oh, it's so nice having a rearview mirror. Man, I really wish the new game would have it. All right, Jeff Green. Oh, God, you can see I got a little bit loose right there, and then it's, there's a lot more weight in the car in this game. So in NASCAR 3 in 2003, you could really just, like, slide around. But on this game, the car definitely has more weight, and it's more of a sway instead of, like, a just random drift. I'm going to try and... I wanted to make contact with them, but I was like, nah, let's not do that. Okay, tires are worn a little bit, which is quicker than normal because I have the setup, I think, just a little bit more aggressive. But at the moment, I, I just can't run the bottom in one and two, which is why I'm still stuck behind damn Kyle Petty. Can I please just get around damn Kyle Petty? That's all I want. Can I just get around Kyle Petty, please? Oh, wait, are you guys pitting? Robbie Gordon made that movement like he's going to pit this lap. But I think it's way too early to pit, so this is going to be interesting. Are you guys pitting? This man's really going to block me. Oh, my God. AI are very good at blocking on this game. It's very difficult to get around them when they decide to start blocking. That's a really good three and four. Come on. Let me get underneath you guys, please. Oh. I mean, I'm racing really hard with back markers. It was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm just trying my best. Uh, you're not blocking this one. Oh, I got my nose there. I got my nose there. Come on. Ooh, I'm not making that corner. Ooh, 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 ooh. Rob Gordon's still to our outside. He's now behind us. I just need to get underneath. There we go, finally. No, no, no. Stop, stop, no. Where's the engine power? Come on, there we go. Come on, right there. Come on, come on. I just need to enter on the bottom in a one. There we go, finally. Jeff Green, you little hoe. Ay, ay, ay. I've been working for three laps trying to get underneath them. Okay, there we go. Hermie Sadler, Kyle Petty. Now, all I need to do is just wait. A little bit of contact with the green. And again, a perfect three and four. Come on, come on, Hermie. Let's go, let's go. Share drafts, come on, buddy. Let's go, yeah. Beautiful scenes, all right, into 30th, back in the top 30. I'm not gonna go underneath Mr. Sadler, never mind, I'm not. Okay, back we go. Don't let Kyle Petty get underneath us, he's not. All right, can I please pass you, Mr. Sadler? There we go, beautiful scenes. Let's get right next to him and get around him for p29 all right now we got to decide when we want to come down pit road pit stops are starting there goes terry labani there goes kyle petty behind us uh we are low on fuel we'll probably go another one or two laps looks like a decent amount of cars are coming in this time Ooh, i'm starting to slide on the tires a little bit i'm gonna go one more lap just because i think there's gonna be a ton of cars on pit road this time by i'm just looking at the way pit road's looking at i i should be okay if i come down this time by i should be Books, books, loose. Books, books, books. I definitely don't want to run another lap because I'm starting to get loose. I'm starting to really feel the difference in the car with the tires wearing. Books, books, loose. Books, books, books. This time by, this time by. Here we come. Nice and easy. 70 miles per hour. Ooh, I almost spun it. I almost spun it coming down pit road, but we're fine. Don't repair damage. Leave everything the same. And I think we got that right. Unless these three cars pull out in front of us, which they don't. And it's a clean entry into pit road. Pit crew, I've done my job on track, okay? We just need a good stop. Come on, boys. I think we got a good stop last race. So I just need a good, clean stop. That's, that looks good on the rights. 8.7 looks good on the rights. It's looking good. My bunch of rookie pit crew members. Oh, beautiful scenes. 
Beautiful scenes, guys. 17.5. This is the perfect race. This is the perfect race right now. We are doing so well. I am so proud, but yet we're in 30 seconds. Uh, I'm going to follow the rules in this career mode, okay, guys? So I'm going to merge like I normally should at most tracks. All right, I'm not going to pull off the uh, the cheat code of I can just come up on track whenever I want. No, I'm going to I'm gonna do it the right way, and I'm going to merge onto track. And there we go. We have fallen behind Jeff Green, who we were just racing, so we should be in a pretty decent position. Yeah, it's a little bit disheartening that Robbie Gordon got in front of us. I mean, we didn't lose too much time, but... We're, we're still right around the guys, but we're in the top 40. That's all that matters. And I think we're going to gain maybe still a few spots here. Uh, so we should have the better car, too. Let's get around Gordon if we can. I just don't have that straight line speed, really, to make a move. So we're going to just park. One and two. Oh, that's a terrible entry. Never mind. All right, we've got to wait. This is interesting. They're pulling away from me. Odd. I know Robbie Gordon has one lap pressure tires, but I have pressure tires in the 46 and, and Jeff Green in the one. I'm not really sure as to why I'm losing ground right now, but uh, it looks like we are. All right, let's just bring the car home. Remember, no DNFs. No DNFs. I cannot afford a DNF. Literally, we only have $40,000 in, in the bank account, so let's, let's not do that. I am pushing so hard just for one spot. I am slowly but surely over the last four laps gaining on Ashton Lewis in the 46. I just got to keep crawling my way up there. There we go. Right in the middle of the corner, we gain some more time. Running a lane higher, then we get into the draft, get the run off the corner. All right, so we get, we're, we're finally going to get to, oh no, I just, okay, that's fine. Uh, we're finally going to get to him, and there's Kyle Petty that's actually coming backwards. He must have pitted pretty, uh, he did pit like two, three laps before we did, so that might be 32nd. I'm going to try and get these guys, still trying to creep up on Ashton Lewis, hold on one second. All right, I'm going to run a lane higher in one and two. Ooh, maybe two lanes higher. Okay, here we go. Hold on, get the run coming out. Nope, that's too high. See, I didn't want to get out of the groove. Uh, shout out Eric Eastup. <laughs> I, did not, I did not plan that. <laughs> I just, I'm just, I, uh, I, 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 I legitimately didn't mean to get out of the groove, seriously. Oh, no, the leader's coming from behind us. Who's the leader? I see orange. Tony Stewart's the leader. Okay, so the leader's coming up from behind. Who cares? If we go lap down, we go lap down. It's expected. I'm just trying to... Get a few more positions. Kyle Petty is very slow, so we should be able to get these two. I just got to plan it out. Uh, Ashton Lewis is going to block, so let's go up here and wait for Lewis to pass, probably. There we go. All right, go. Oh, we might be able to creep down if we can. E right there, right there. Come on, come on, straight line speed. Come on, straight line speed. Come on, straight line speed. Nope, no straight line speed. Come on, come on, come on. And nice and easy, nice and easy. Gas it up, gas it up. Just get to the quarter panel. There we go. There we go. All right, he's to our outside. I should be able to control him from here. There he is. Hello. A little bit of a tap. And Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart are actually going for the race lead. Uh, and Gordon's actually going to get around Stewart. <laughs> he used the lap cars to get around Tony Stewart. I actually tried getting out of the way for those guys to see if they could battle it out themselves. But Jeff Gordon is on a ridiculous tear to start the season. Holy crap. Uh, two laps to go. Passes Tony Stewart due to lap traffic. And uh, I would not be happy if I was in that Home Depot. Uh, I almost said Home Depot Toyota. Home Depot Chevrolet. That is uh, a little bit sad. But for us, this is a perfect race. Literally. Uh, we did nothing wrong. Qualified 29th. Finished 32nd. I mean, pit stop was good. Everything was perfect. So... I will take it, and I'm pretty sure Jeff Gordon is winning this championship because I just don't see how someone can compete with him if he's going to fir finish first and second every single week. All right, Dale Jarrett's at none. Ally Kenseth is at 18. Kyle Petty, none. So I'm getting back to more of a neutral area. Uh, we have a new total of $120,000. So we got $80,000 essentially, $79,000. Uh, 31000 race winnings, 111000 from sponsor income. I'm pretty sure we got everything in the sponsor income. 37 from the primary, 33 from the secondary and 26 from the associates uh let's go look at the race results gordon stewart jr uh johnson uh harvick dale jarrett mark martin uh kurt bush bobby labani ricky rudd a pretty uh common uh front or top 10 there but man 20 laps led for gordon jesus christ that man's on a tear okay so we have one hundred twenty thousand dollars in the bank uh sponsor news they are happy associate up one primary up one i want to keep the nikon car on the car i saw the primary sponsor which is nikon I need to keep them as happy as possible, and the secondary, so uh, that is good. Uh, they are 71 happiness, I think that's decent, 
and the team let's see how they're doing um the team happiness 80 82 80 84 so yeah they're pretty happy so everything so far usually at the start of these career modes it goes chaotic but so far everything's actually pretty normal we we will have a new chassis and new engine for darlington but i'm not going to make any repairs or do anything until those shop additions come in so let's just continue on change the paint scheme uh we're going to darlington what color should we put on darlington let's put a nice i don't know it is called the lady in black would black on black be too much does it does it work with the sponsor of nikon do are they happy with the black camera being on a black paint scheme probably not white is for tottenham so we're definitely not doing white uh let's go ahead and do let's do whatever this color is d d is this like a teal is that is that what that is I, don't, I got no idea so that's the color that we're gonna use beautiful scenes off to the carolina dodge dealers 400 and if we could just do exactly the same thing that we just did um that would be great uh so chassis we're gonna put the new one in engine we're gonna put the new one in and body we're gonna put the new one in okay beautiful scenes let's go all right we got a decent first lap in i'm hoping this is gonna be good enough for top 40 34th there we go all right because you don't get a lot of benefit from straight line speed at the on the second lap in the front straightaway but i'm gonna try to go a little bit better because i already have a feeling on the on for this game and the way the cars drive track position is gonna be a lot for this track so let's not overdrive three beautiful oh that is i i'm i'm clutching it i i don't know Maybe it's the booster shot or what? Oh, yo, yo, got on the wall a little bit, but uh, I'm I'm on a different level right now. 28.73. It's a 17th place with this car, which is not supposed to be doing this well. I don't know what's going on, guys. I don't I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm on a different level. But Jeff Gordon qualified on pole again. What is that man has an illegal race car? Jeff Gordon is simply not human. I don't understand what's going on. This is Joe Moore along with Barney Hall for MRN, and we're live at Darlington Raceway, the granddaddy of super speedways in Darlington, South Carolina for the Carolina You're my Dodge granddaddy, Dears Joe Moore. I love you. Barney, drivers love coming to Darlington because of its history, but they often leave wishing they hadn't shown up. Why is that? The tight groove they have here makes this a very difficult racetrack. It takes total concentration, but the drivers all race long to be successful here. Ricky Craven really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. And how frustrating that must be. You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days to gain the valuable points you need. These guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. Mark Martin is clinging to a top 10 points position coming into this race. He's been working hard this season and it is paying off so far. He'll need a good finish in this one to gain some spots. The 83 car needs a good showing to break the string of bad finishes he's had at the speedways this year. And a good finish would go a long way in boosting that team's morale. I guarantee it would make a whole lot easier to come to these racetracks. The, the morale's literally fine. It's fine, MRN. Oh, Jesus. We're going to start this again, MRN. We really are. We really are, my friends. I don't understand how Jeff Gordon is continuing to do that, but whatever. It's He's not our fight. We are way above what I thought we would be. So we are in 17th at the moment. I will take it, and let's just try to block real quick. There we go. Oh, hold on. Oi, 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 oi. This is not where I want to be. This is not where I want to be. Back off. There we go. Last thing I want to do at this track right now is be side by side. Oh, yo, yo. man, this car is very tough to handle around this track. It's very... Uh, Oi, oi, oi. Oh my god. Oi, 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 oi. Hold on. Hold on to the car. Hold on to the car. Huh. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Hold on. Just wait one second. I just gotta get a few laps under my belt. Wait, why is Hermie Sadler up here? He's slow. Alright, get out of the way, Hermie. Go hold up everyone behind me. Come on. It, nope. I have no straight line speed. Damn it. I really need a better engine. Okay, come on. Nice and easy in a three. Oh, who is below me? That is moving me out of the way. Holy crap. Is that Elliot Sadler in the 38? Because if it is, I'm going to memorize that, and he's going to go ahead on to the wall next time I see him. Hermie, why are you being such a nuisance? I'm just trying. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my. Wait, I still. Uh, okay. Well, no. I don't. NASCAR. Caution. 
Caution. No, 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 no. Caution. Thank you. Uh, shut up, PA announcer. These guys are, they're annoying me. All right, we're coming down pit road. At least we'll have some fresh tires. <sighs> it's just, I, I knew it would be difficult racing around these guys around this track because I knew how my car handled it would be very difficult. But I wasn't expecting them, them to be as aggressive as they are entering the corners. Uh, so that is what caused this mess. But luckily, only four laps in. We should be able to just go ahead, fix any damage that we have, which I don't think we have any. And uh, we'll have five lap pressure tires. So we'll see what happens. Okay, we are back on the way. I got fresh tires and no damage. All right, but a terrible, terrible starting gear ratio. Good God, how am I already a second behind? All right, we are so much faster. I have to use, I have to use the apron down there. Oh my God. When I said we we're so much faster, I didn't mean like just rail into the back of Ashton Lewis, but hey, I guess he likes it like that. Okay, so we move. Come on, let me just, all right, get, come on, yeah, 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 it's so hard to pass these guys on this game, get out of my way, I can't cheat my way like in Thunder 2003, get out of the way, dive bomb incoming, I'm gonna be aggressive, here we go, ba 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 ay ay ay, car's out of control, yep, I didn't even get underneath anyone, I am so terrible, wow, okay, fresh tires, but I can't get around everyone, uh, yeah, yeah, I got nowhere to go, <laughs> nowhere, Oh, the little air bubble that always pushes me back, too. Makes it so much harder. Oh, you absolute fraud. Get out of my way. Thank you. Go. Go. You slow pokes. Go. I'm hitting you. Get out of the way. Oh, no. The reverse side draft doesn't even work. Oh, I don't have that tactic in my arsenal anymore. Eh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Clear. Okay. Come on. Go. 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 Yes. 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 Get out of my way, Jeremy Mayfield. No, 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 yes, no, yes, no. Oh, God. No, we're fine. Yep, the entire right side's now yellow. Who cares? Keep moving. Come on. Go, go, go. Vamos, vamos, vamos. There we go. Oh, yo, yo, yep. Get, get Mayfield loose that way in the rear. There we go. Blown engine, blown engine, blown engine for the 25 car. Okay, and pit stops are starting. Okay. We're up into the 30s, though, at least before pit stops started. And we, got, we could go a little bit longer on, on tires and on fuel. Let's go. Oh, look at the runoff turn four. If I could just make it work. There we go. Come on. I got to just keep going around these guys. every Because I know what I'm going to do in the pit stops. I'm going to take two tires. I'm not. Oh, get the heck out of my way. Yeah, I don't care, Brepo Dine, if you're a rival. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, everyone. I'm on my way. The Nikon car is steaming straight through. Excuse me. Are you guys pitting? I can't tell if you guys are pitting or not. I'm going to die bomb. Heck with this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Hermie Sadler, thank you for holding them up. Oh, this car is wonderful. This car is absolutely wonderful. Look at this, Look at this beautiful specimen of a machine. Let's go. Okay, Matt Kenseth, you got back around me, but now you're going to block. All right. I see how it is. Well, try blocking this. Boop. Bop. Get out of my way. <laughs> oh, this Nikon car is fantastic. Okay. Uh, let's look. Right front tire is worn, left front tire is not. Halfway on fuel about two laps ago. So we can still push a little bit farther. Car is definitely edgy in turns three and four, but we're still fine. And we're running in P8, so if a caution came out, we'd be in perfect position. So at this moment, we roll the dice, and we see how far we can go. Take two tires when we come down pit road with one can of fuel. That's going to be the plan. Oh, God. Oh, my right front's red. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely not driving turn three well at all. Okay, right front tire or right front fender is red. Do not DNF the car, Malad. Do not DNF the car. Stop overdriving three and four and just relax. We're in first place right now. Dale Jarrett's behind us. I'm pretty sure he's virtually in first. We just need to relax. Bring the car home. Don't overdrive three and four. There we go. If I, I'm pretty sure if I make one more like little wall contact with my right front fender, we might, you know, catch flames. So that's why I'm a little bit worried. Oh, never mind. I'm just holding up Dale Jarrett a ton because here come more lead lap cars. There goes Jarrett. Oh, oh wait. Yep, yeah, he's not happy about that. All right, move. See you later, buddy. Okay, nice and easy in a three and four. Oh, God. No, no, no. Okay, now we're rivals with Bill Elliott, but the right rear is red. And the right front's red, and my hood's flapping. If the hood flies off, that'd actually be good. Hood fly off. Hood fly off. Hood fly. Yeah, look at the pixelated engine down there, too. Hood fly off. Come on, hood. 
Come on, just fly off the car. Just fly off the car. We're in first. Fly off the car, please. Oh, we might actually... Oh, don't DNF. Don't DNF. Ooh, you, 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 you. Come on, fly off the car. Fly off the car. Please. We have 2.8 of fuel left. I just need this hood to fly off. Very low on fuel. Fly off the car right now. If you fly off the car, I'll give you 100 bucks. How much fuel? 2.0. I can go another lap. We're going to go another lap. We're losing a lot of time, but it doesn't matter. This is, this is the risk. The risk that we're taking is if this hood flies off the car, that will be a caution, and we will restart the race in first. So all I need to do is get this damn hood off the car. Fuel tank almost empty. Let's take a look. 1.2. I will have to come in this time. Bye. Please, please fly off the car right now. Come on, come on, come on, please. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, we only have 0.7 on fuel, though. We only have 0.7 on fuel. We need to be able to actually... Oh my god. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, 0.4, 0.3. I might run out of fuel. Oh god. Okay, hold on. Just make it, make it, make it. There we go. All right, we made it. We're in the lead. I do have to come down pit road. Oh my god, look at... <laughs> Oh, the risk. It finally flew off. Okay. Here we come. Fuel tank empty, but we are coming down pit road, so we're fine. All right. We're not going to um we're not going to win the race, but we're going to get a good result. Holy crap. Oh, look at look at the pixelated the the tires and the, oh, it's just oh my god, what is going on in the front of my car? Hey, look, we have a new hood. <laughs> it's 23 second pit stop. The hood's back on the car. All right, where are we restarting? Looks like we were the only car on pit road. Yeah, I know. Uh, 20 seconds. I will take it. That will be our best result of the season, bar the Daytona 500. So everyone else is lapped down. Let's just bring it home. I don't even need to race these guys. So I'm just going to be, be very careful here. Because all these guys are lapped down, right? Everyone behind me, I'm pretty sure. Looks like it. All right. Let's just bring it home. I can actually probably make up spots, but I really don't want to risk it. <laughs> So I'm just going to be very nice and easy. We might be able to gain. Oh, look at that. I'm, I'm being nice and easy. Oh, look at this thing go. 21st. Top 20. Here we come. Oh, boy. Nice and easy. Ooh, nice and easy. Don't wreck the car. Don't wreck the car. All right, heck with this. I'm going three wide. Who cares about nice and easy? Into P18. Oh, look who it is. It's Elliot Sabin. It's, I'm not going to get my revenge, but uh, I did not like what he did earlier in the race, but it's fine. Just back off turns three and four. And that is going to be an incredible result. P18. That's that's amazing. That's incredible. Wow. <laughs> this season is actually going like... We haven't had a single DNF. We've had one point, like last place finish. Jeff Gordon won again. Like, I don't understand this, man. But holy crap. This is going incredibly well. Oh, now Bill Elliott is a rival. His son's probably like two years old at this time. Uh, $232,000 in the bank now, so we gained an additional $113,000 because race winnings is up to $56,000 since we finished in the top 20, and we got the total income from the primary, the secondary, and the associate. Guys, everything is going very well, but holy hell, Jeff Gordon is, is something else. He leads, again, the most laps and wins another race. It's, he's literally not human. Now the next race is Bristol, which is actually gonna be very interesting. Let's go check the standings before we cut out of here. I just wanna see what he's been doing. He already has a 59, he, well, actually let's not forget Tony Stewart. He already has a 117 point lead over Kevin Harvick. It's been five races. I mean, wh what are you doing? What are you doing right now? Four poles in five starts with three wins. What, what the hell is this guy? With average start of 1.8. Average finish of 3.0. Okay, well, on that note, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, comment down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Apparently, dislikes don't even show anymore. So if you want to hit the dislike button, you can hit it. But it doesn't show dislikes anymore, which is not a good thing. Um, so take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. Shout out to all the Patreon members. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.